So let's do a Beer's Law, an actual Beer's Law problem this time. It says um, a 0 0.100 mole per decameter cubed aqueous solution of nickel-2 salt shows three absorbances, one of which has a value, a molar absorptivity value, of 2.95 decameter cubed per mole per centimeter. What is the corresponding absorbance if the path length of the solution cell used for the measurement is 1.00 centimeters? Okay. So, hopefully you see we've got all of this stuff written up here. Concentration value, moles per decameter cubed, uh, molar absorptivity, 2.9 decameter cubed per mole per centimeter, and path length is B at 1.00 centimeters. Remember, Beer's law is A equals epsilon B C. So we have all of these units in here. So we're looking for absorbance, so it's just plug them in. Okay? So A is going to be epsilon. I like to write it so I can cancel my units out. So I'm going to write it like this. Um, 2.95 decameter cubed per one mole times centimeter. Okay, so that's epsilon or molar absorptivity. The path length, 1.00 centimeters. And the concentration is 0 0.100 moles per one decameter so hopefully you can see here, we want to cancel out our units. Hopefully we get no units at the end, because absorbance has no units. So moles cancels with moles, centimeters with centimeters, decameter cubed with decameter cubed. Okay. So all we have to do now is get our calculator and plug it in. 2.95 times 1 times 20. Well, we don't have to. I don't know why I did that. So to three sig figs, 0 0.295. So again, no units for absorption. So the absorbance of this solution is going to be 0 0.295. Are there any questions on this one? Ask now or forever hold your peace. Okay.